Hello and welcome to my in-depth weekly horoscope for week commencing the 20th of December for the Sun or the Ascendant. As ever, I'm going to give you the major strands of this week before diving deep and in forensic detail, giving you each of the 12 zodiac sign forecasts. So please stay with me for that. This week is going to see the sun arrive in the sign of Capricorn on Tuesday, but this also heralds the winter solstice. So we're entering the fourth quadrant of the Western tropical astrological year. So the last 13 weeks run. So this is a really notable transition. The sign of Capricorn is very much to do with structures. It's to do with the more traditional features of life. It can be uh, an area that we have a focus on goals and ambitions and therefore to do with our professional interactions, but not exclusively. Of course, the sign of Capricorn is Earth and it is cardinal, so it's very much a sign of leadership. So the free-spirited energy of Sagittarius makes way for the more uh, somber vibe of Capricorn, but we still have Mars in Sagittarius, which is a very adventurous combination. And in fact, by the end of this week, Mars is forging a super link with Saturn. So when we get the energy of Mars combining uh, collaboratively with the structural energies of Saturn, that can be very positive. Now, as this week begins, we also have Mercury in a terrific angle with Uranus across the first three days. Mercury already in the sign of Capricorn, dazzling in the electric link with Uranus, asks us to be very open-minded about how we deploy our resources. Anything to do with business decisions as well. The more innovative we are, the better it can be. Remember the full moon from last week is still very, very potent this week. And that's basically saying to us that we need to use our language carefully. The everyday communications of the moon in Gemini competing with the more uh, expansive energies of the sun in Sagittarius. So choosing our words carefully this week continues to be a theme. If we're traveling anywhere, important to check out things carefully. But Jupiter was very supportive that, to that particular lunation. So I think there can be some uplift from that that feeds into this week. But by Friday, by Christmas Eve, we do have the square between Saturn and Uranus repeating itself exactly for the third time this year. But you know, the truth is, within a few degrees, they've actually been agitating at one another pretty well since about the second week of January. But this just reminds us that the liberty that Uranus wants us to have has to be balanced against the responsibilities that Saturn wants us to show. So there could be something that is stopping us being quite as free as we would like on Christmas Eve. And then on Christmas Day, we have the second of two conjunctions between Venus and Pluto. The first was on the 11th of December. And of course, last week, Venus went into its retrograde. Now this could bring about some real lovely sentimental connections perhaps to people from our past, perhaps we can really appreciate how fortunate we are to have the folks in our life that we have had. But if you're in a relationship where there is quite a lot of leverage around money or even intimacy, Venus's combination with Pluto can make us much more conscious of the power balance that's going on. On Christmas Day as well, can you believe it? So that's a potentially tricky one, but a, definitely an opportunity to celebrate the uh, stability of the relationships that do work well for us. And if you're not in a relationship, or even spending this Christmas time alone, which I have experienced myself and it's not easy, what I would say to you is this does uh, give you an opportunity to think very profoundly about what you would like going into next year, future forward. But I uh, am now going to share with you each of the 12 zodiac signs in detail. But just before I do, remember if you'd like to sign up for your free daily horoscope, written horoscope, 
direct to your device each morning, please see the link beneath this video. Also, if you'd like to get your year 2022 personal forecast, you can do so and get uh, your character analysis as well. You will get uh, the full 12 months from the time of the order to the end of next year. If you order in January, you will get 12 months from that point, but 30% off too. Hello Cancer and welcome to your in-depth forecast for week commencing the 20th of December. So your Christmas week is characterised, I feel, most of all by a collection of energy forging in your sector of relationships. Now, principal to this is the winter solstice of Tuesday and the arrival of the sun in your seventh house. Already here you have Mercury linking brilliantly with Uranus on Monday and Tuesday. So that could see some last minute connections, uh, some surprise uh, connections too that can delight you. And then, of course, we have Venus and Pluto coming into an exact conjunction on Christmas Day. If you're fortunate enough to be with people who really, really mean everything to you, then this can be a beautiful time for you. If you're with people where there's politics hovering, it could be more challenging. Christmas Eve, for example, sees a square between Saturn and Uranus reactivated. For you, Uranus is in the part of your horoscope to do with your future and it's to do with being freer spirited about your future whereas Saturn's in the part of your horoscope to do with where you may be most invested financially so you you may have a financial connection to someone but if there isn't that spark still you don't really have the same love language for example then you could feel a bit trapped so the fact that Venus and Pluto can join in such a potent way could just make you more aware of what you don't have in your situation or in a relationship. Of course it's true that Mars does continue in your sixth house and that does give you the stamina to cope with this week. Forges a great link the last few days with Saturn in your eighth house of resources so if you do need to uh, move things around to pay for things you know, a lot of things are going up a lot uh, in their cost, which is a challenge for, for many of us. But I feel that for you, you can be very good at managing resources, very skilled at it. But I think you'll be doing your very best to reach into uh, finding ways to create a sense of connectivity, a sense of commonality with those that you're close to. But this Christmas could highlight who you're not close to, even if they're sat across the Christmas table. So um, it is what it is, but there is huge opportunities next year for you to work on your relationships and even your romantic sector too, with four eclipses going across your fifth and 11th houses. So a lot to look forward to for next year for you. I hope you have a wonderful Christmas time and goodbye for now.